Welcome to Cute Fast Track Series for API 570 Piping Inspection Code in service inspection, rating, repair, and alteration of piping systems. In this lecture, we will continue discuss clauses 5, and we highlight important information contained subclauses 5.6 condition monitoring locations, CMLs, and 5.7 condition monitoring methods. General CMLs are specific areas along the piping circuit where inspections are conducted. The nature of the CML varies according to its location in the piping system. The allocation of CMLs shall consider the potential for localized corrosion and service-specific corrosion as described in API 574 and API 571. Examples of different types of CMLs include wall thickness, stress cracking, qui and high temperature hydrogen attack. CMLs monitoring Each piping system shall be monitored at appropriately placed CMLs. Piping circuits will normally have more CMLs and be monitored more frequently. Piping circuits subject to higher corrosion rates or localized corrosion. The minimum measured thickness at a CML can be located by ultrasonic scanning or profile radiography. Electromagnetic techniques also can be used to identify thin areas that may then be measured by UT or radiography. The thinnest reading or an average of several measurement readings taken within the area of an examination point shall be recorded and used to calculate corrosion rates, remaining life, and the next inspection date. Where appropriate, thickness measurements should include measurements at each of the four quadrants on pipe and fittings, with special attention to the inside and outside radius of elbows and tees, where corrosion, erosion could increase corrosion rates. CML allocation CMLs should be distributed appropriately throughout each piping circuit. CMLs may be eliminated, or the number reduced under certain circumstances when the expected damage mechanism will not result in a wall loss or other forms of deterioration, such as Olefin plant cold side piping. Anhydrous ammonia piping. Clean non-corrosive hydrocarbon product. Or, high alloy piping for product purity. In circumstances where CMLs will be substantially reduced or eliminated, a corrosion specialist should be consulted. In selecting or adjusting the number and locations of CMLs, the inspector should take into account the patterns of corrosion that would be expected and have been experienced in the process unit. More CMLs should be selected for piping systems with any of the following characteristics. Higher potential for creating a safety or environmental emergency in the event of a leak. Higher expected or experienced corrosion rates. Higher potential for localized corrosion. More complexity in terms of fittings, branches, dead legs, injection points, and other similar items. Higher potential for qui. Higher corrosion rate, or thickness, variability. Higher short, long rate, or maximum, average, ratios. Higher degree of process variability. Process parameters that will affect localized corrosion. Circuits with corrosion environments which have experienced unexpected failures in the facility or elsewhere in the industry. Fewer CMLs can be selected for piping systems with any of the following three characteristics. Low potential for creating a safety or environmental emergency in the event of a leak. Relatively non-corrosive piping systems. Long, straight-run piping systems. CMLs can be eliminated for piping systems with any of the following characteristics. 
extremely low potential for creating a safety or environmental emergency in the event of a leak. Noncorrosive systems, as demonstrated by history or similar service. And, systems not subject to changes that could cause corrosion as demonstrated by history and or periodic reviews. Every CML should have at least one or more examination points identified. Examples include Locations marked on uninsulated pipe using paint stencils, metal stencils, or stickers. Holes cut in the insulation and plugged with covers. Temporary insulation covers for fittings nozzles, etc. Isometrics or documents showing CMLs. Radio frequency identification devices, RFID. Computerized monitoring buttons, CMB. Careful identification of CMLs and examination points are necessary to enhance the accuracy and repeatability of the data. Corrosion specialists should be consulted about the appropriate placement and number of CMLs for piping systems susceptible to localized corrosion or cracking or in circumstances where CMLs will be substantially reduced or eliminated. Condition monitoring methods using UT and RT Ultrasonic thickness measurements ASMEB PVC Section V, Article 23, and Section SE 797 provide guidance for performing ultrasonic thickness measurements. Ultrasonic thickness measurements taken on small bore pipe may require specialized equipment, for example miniature transducers and or curved shoes as well as diameter-specific calibration blocks. Radiographic profile techniques, PRT Preferred for small bore pipe, SBP, where digital ultrasonic thickness gauging, DUT, are not very reliable. Preferred for pipe of NPS 1 inch and smaller. Very often the technique of choice on NPS 8 and under when localized corrosion is suspected. Also used for locating areas to be measured. Insulated systems. Where no uniform or localized corrosion is suspected. UT can be used for further inspection. When corrosion in a piping system is non-uniform or the remaining thickness is approaching the minimum required thickness, additional thickness measuring may be required. Radiography and ultrasonic scanning are the preferred methods in such cases. When ultrasonic measurements are taken above 150 degrees Fahrenheit, 65 degrees Celsius, instruments, couplants, and procedures should be used that will result in accurate measurements at the higher temperatures. Measurements should be adjusted by the appropriate temperature correction factor. Review questions Question number 1 Normally, fewer CMLs can be selected for primary piping systems that Answer is B Question number 2 Class 1 piping system has had its service changed to carry a non-corrosive inert gas with an extremely low potential for a safety emergency in the event of a leak. In this case of service change, the inspector should Answer is D Question number 3 which of the following would justify the use of more than the normal number of condition monitoring locations on a piping system? Answer is B. Question number 4. Regarding the thickness measurement of small diameter piping NPS 1 and smaller, the best NDT technique, API 570 preferred method, is to use the answer as B. Question number five. 
What are the preferred methods per API 570 when the corrosion in a piping system is non-uniform or the remaining thickness is approaching the minimum required thickness, requiring additional thickness measurements? Answer is C. This lecture is prepared by Samir Saad, and this is his profile.